Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching. My name is Rich Tarani coming to you from Interrupt New York 2010. On our program is Apoorva Dave. He's the VP of Product Marketing at Riverbed. Hey Apoorva, how are you? Doing well. Thanks for Good having being me. being here. It's great to have you great on the program. Great to be here. So uh, tell us a little bit about what your company's been up to since the last uh, video, uh, however many months ago that was. <laughs> well, th business has been going well, thankfully. Um, you know, one of the big uh, pieces of news for Riverbed in the past few months is we just surpassed 40% market share in the core WAN optimization business, making us the largest provider of advanced platform WAN optimization in the world. And do you know which research company that was? That, uh, that was with Gartner's okay, research. Great. Exactly. So, so that was a big step for us. I mean, we've, we've been the market share leader for quite some time, but never by this much. And I think it's a reflection of the capabilities our product brings to many of the core initiatives that enterprises have going on right now. So talk a little bit about that, because it's a competitive market. And right. I know that in the last uh, 18 months or so, I've seen a tremendous amount of interest uh, from companies in related areas looking to come into WAN optimization and, and take a piece of the market. So the question I'm trying to get at is, how is it that you're picking up market share in a market that right. seems like it's got more competition than ever? Yeah, I mean, the, the space is definitely hot. And when technology companies see a hot space, they want to claim that they have some capabilities there as well. When we think about WAN optimization, we, we essentially break it down into three buckets. It's understanding the network and the dynamics of the applications. It's optimizing the applications that you have today as well as the ones you, you'll have in the future and consolidate infrastructure into either your private cloud or your public cloud. And Riverbed's ability to play in each of those sub-segments of WAN optimization, understand, optimize, and consolidate, is what enables us to exceed what the competition can do. So let me take you a level deeper. Okay. We've got our Cascade product line, which gives customers real-time flow-based analysis of what's actually happening on their network. You can get all of that analysis without installing anything in your branch offices. That's a capability they've never had before. We've got our Steelhead product line that enables you to optimize the flow of that traffic as it moves across your network. So once Cascade tells you where you've got a problem, now you've got a solution to put that in place and get over that application performance problem. And finally, consolidation. Our products inherently enable you to move applications more effectively to your own data center or to a cloud environment and still feel as if that application were local for the end users. And our ability to integrate that into environments uh, of companies that are very large, Fortune 500 companies, all the way down to companies that have just a couple hundred employees, definitely puts us apart from the rest of the pack in terms of WAN optimization. So really scalable, holistic solutions that, that uh that do more than just optimization. Exactly, I mean, it's nice, it's nice to be able to make things go faster, but what you really want to be able to do as an IT administrator is figure out what is the smart thing to do for my environment. And Riverbed gives you the tools to do both of those, be smarter and be faster. Now, have you seen any change in the last few years in terms of the, the people getting involved in the buying process? Are there more financial people now involved yeah. than there used to be? That's a very good question. Certainly with the change in the economy over the past few years, there's been a very uh, heavy focus on the cost savings element of new technologies. The good news for technologies like riverbeds and ours in particular is that we have very quick payback period in hard financial terms. So IDC did a study on our technology and found that the average payback on an investment in riverbed is about six months. And that's on hard costs. So you can tell that story to your CFO and he's going to approve that investment. And at the same time, you're getting the soft benefits of easier management, better consolidation and security, and of course, better performance, which means fewer end users complaining. Now, just to, to quantify that a little bit or, or try to put it in real world terms, does that number that you just gave me have a specific company size or what would be the average company size corresponding? Is that a few thousand employees? We've seen it across the board in terms of a six-month payback period. Uh, we've seen that for companies that are very small and just a couple hundred employees. And we've seen that for uh, companies with 10,000 or 20,000 employees. And does that include the potential for reducing the number of servers as well as reducing the amount of bandwidth that's being purchased? Absolutely. So from a hard cost savings, that includes 
your bandwidth investments and your hard, ser your hard server cost investments. From a soft cost, if you want to layer those on top and make your ROI even larger, you have productivity enhancements for your end users as well as productivity enhancements for your IT managers who won't have to manage as much stuff in different locations. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, basically what we're, we're also getting from this interview, the, the viewers hopefully are getting, is that in this economic environment, it makes sense to look for technologies such as WAN optimization that can reduce, uh, reduce the amount that you're paying for uh, lots of things within your data center from uh, bandwidth to hardware to potentially electricity savings as well? Absolutely. So one of, you know, one, another way to look at it is that WAN optimization is one of the few technology categories that actually grew through the recession. Why is that? It's because there are significant tangible hard cost savings associated with implementing the product in a way that not only I, I, the IT administrator understood, but also the business can understand. And so when you get those kinds of savings, and at the same time you're making a strategic investment in the future of how the company operates, that's a pretty easy conversation to have with management. That's great. Well, thanks for being on the program. This thanks was, for having uh, me. Very nice. And, Always uh, good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Very educational. Thank you.